Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Oregon Trail, the newest version of this classic franchise, this version being developed by Gameloft. This is episode number 10 in our Let's Play series, in our first attempt to make it to Oregon from Independence, uh, and so far our party has largely been okay. We've dealt with a lot of injuries, but we've been able to overcome all of it without any deaths so far. Uh, but we have witnessed some tragedy on the trail along the way, unfortunately. Uh, that being said, this is the final episode in our attempt to get to Oregon. We'll see if we can get these final miles in, if we end up braving the rapids down the Columbia River, if we get that far, if we hit a rock and overturn, or if we survive. Uh, that'll all be in store for us in this episode. Uh, this is... Um, a sponsored episode, or at least this isn't, but the live stream that this was taken from was. So it's the last time you'll have to see that uh, HelloFresh graphic in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, but uh, without further ado, let's jump back in into the live stream and see how things play out. How am I uh, doing this late night? I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you, Method? Method. The party is exhausted as we head down the mountains. All right. Oh, no. My toes are broken. Okay. Well, Iron Priest, you're a terrible doctor. Press on. Oh, I got a broken leg, so I'm grabbing my arm. Got it. All right, use. It's like Mario mushrooms. They just make you better. Um, magically, his broken leg is better. All right, let's slow down. I got to get some stamina back. I'm a priest, not a doctor. That's fair, Iron Priest. That's fair. Hey, it's another fishing competition. I'm kind of tempted to just like blast through here and not even bother trying to get more food, but it does stress me out that we'd run out. <laughs> I'd, that, that would be just my luck. I would lose patience and then we would die. It'd be like, oh, you rushed too much. Oh, we missed that one. Thanks for the follow detector. I'm glad I got that sculpin or whatever the hell the damn thing is. Ooh, a pink salmon. Or as my chat likes to say, a pink salmon. Another pink salmon. Really? The max I can carry is 25 pounds? Oh, because your stamina is shit, probably. Okay. I guess I could have just kept going. All right. Let's see what our inventory status looks like. It's probably not good. It's probably not good. 
Yeah, at least it topped off some of our... Uh, I don't need that much bait, but I don't have any... Yeah, whatever. Just discard. I don't, I don't need those. Can our stamina get a little better, please? Wagon grease expired, so we'll use the new wagon grease. Thirteen miles to Fort Nez Perce. We're closing in, gentlemen. We're closing in. I don't need to find that. I got medicine. Medicine and herbs and money. We'll just heal them with magic when we get to the fort. Still got 300 pounds of freaking food. Here we come. Oh, wait. We're not quite. It still says we're four miles away. Oh, there's the fort. What a shame that wagon grease isn't going to get fully used up. I didn't do any of the secondary objectives. I just tried to race in there. We basically made it, guys. We're in Oregon. What was the name of the guy who was the like duel? I thought we were going to see the gunslinger here. I don't think that's any of them. George Bush. We see you again. Okay, George. All right, can you fix Sultan's exhaustion? No, it doesn't look like you can. Store. No wagon grease here? Oh, there it is. Where's it going to go? Okay, so we got the wagon grease. We still have some repair kits, so we're good there. We're going to go ahead and rest here. And I'm assuming there's a lodging. Yep, there is, so we'll stay here. Maybe for two nights. Uh, custom characters. The sprites are different for different characters, but it's not custom. Like, you can't create it. All right, we're going to stay two nights here. Probably all that time I spent rushing to get here, I wasted as we rested. Um, we might want to see if there's any coffee they have, although I have no room for it. We can always dump one of the uh, bait things. I don't need anywhere near that much fish bait. Probably don't even need two. Is there anything worth trading for? 29 bullets? What do you want for them? 13 pelts? Sure. Let's keep the pelts. Well, mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we're good. Let's just get going. Depart. 
The pelt selling would give me at most $6 per pelt. It's not worth it. All right, so we are on the way to the Dalles. And we will go by... I don't have any bullets to hunt, so I might as well go to the fishing hole. Although I don't know that I'm going to fish. We'll see. All right, also, let's pick up the pace now that everybody's rested. We'll get back to grueling. Four days. A beehive. Nope. <laughs> I am not going to go stick my freaking hand in a beehive. What do you think, I'm crazy? The Dales. I've been there. Well, by there. I had a work trip out west a couple of years ago. Dales. Dales. Now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. What did I say? Go wake him up, THG. Excuse me, sir. Please wake. Mm, I was asleep. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Jack Keatley, I'm a rider for the point. We already ran into you, little miss, 10 years early. Sultan, you're our wayfaring expert. Dells. Thanks for the harmonica that I don't need. It's just he gave it to me and I just, he gave it to me and I just chucked it over my shoulder like, fuck this. I don't need this bullshit. Uh... Go investigate the rotting food. You didn't find it? Oh, you vomited. What the fuck? Fresh fish, or rather, no longer fresh fish. Okay. Whoa, 52 pounds of food we lost there. Good thing we're going to that fishing hole. I guess we'll be fishing. Maybe I should have sold them. Hey, it's another one of those fishing competitions. Gotcha. And now that I've got good stamina, we should be good to carry a lot of it back. All right. That's a lot of fish. All right. We got 110 seconds left. Wasn't even remotely impressive of a fish, but it's 25 pounds of meat. So that impressed me. We don't even have to move. Just cast your line and they'll bite. We're going to have a good one. This is going to be a good result. Oh, no, he moved. Fudge. Why is he not? Where's the salmon? A Pacific lampy. Oh, that thing looks like. Worm of the sea. Not quite as tricky as the uh, Animal Crossing fishing game, but, you know, way better than our last one. This is going to be a great result. We might even max out at the usual, like, 120 or whatever. We'll see. Cutthroat trout. 
think we're down to one more fish. And I think that'll max our carrying capacity. I don't remember if we have any fish traps also. We're consuming about 16 pounds of meat at the moment per day. So that's a little less than, what is that, like four days or no, like eight days worth of meat? A little bit less than eight days? I think I did great. That's a new record. She's going to give me fish traps that I don't have any use for. And 50 bucks and a trail map. None of it that'll fit in my wagon. So let's go. Well, some of it did, I guess. Um, the fish traps didn't, but we can discard those, I think. Can't collect meat because I don't have any guns. I guess we could have gone to the herbal remedy. The wagon is wearing out. Oops. Forgot to put the grease back on it. Give me the grease. Let's drop that. On the road again. Seven fish equals 120 pounds. Yeah, that's like in every fisher's dream, right? All right, give the fish some extra flour. Or not the fish, the uh, ox, which was struggling. Why am I vomiting again? Okay. I don't have any more herbs, do I? It's a hunting area. Well, I can't hunt. I don't have any ammo, so we're just going to have to press on. I don't know that we have any room for those 30 foodstuffs we just picked up. Maybe we finish some of the flour? Winter's closing in. It's 57 days away, but I don't think we're going to... Oh, God, all those things. More rain. It keeps feeling like we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. But now we really are almost there, right? Oh, no. One of our oxen just died. The party considers burying the ox out of respect for its service. Alternatively, our ox carcass could be dressed out and the, the meat added to the meat supplies. Gather the meat. If you fail our party, you will be eaten. 200 meat. Moose. The party spies a small thicket of... Th okay, yeah, Harvest. Sultan, you're going to be the best at that. I think gathering herbs is one of the objectives for this. Party spies the gunslinger up ahead. As they grow closer, they can see how tired and worn out the dark man looks. He's aged 10 years since I last saw him. Now what? It's done. I found Coogan and put an end to him. Took back the watch he stole too. I thought when I had dealt with him, it would be all over. But the anger's still there, gnawing at my heart. I can't go home to Mary and little Charlotte. I could never look them in the eyes again. I'm a bad man with no soul now, and they deserve better. I've thrown all away the good things I had left. I wish a better future for you. You who talked me into it. You who told me to seek the vengeance. You who destroyed my lives. Okay, that last bit obviously was me. 
Oh, man. A young man with a purposeful stride. Hey, you there. Have you seen a fella dressed in all black with a fancy shooting rig come past here? I swear when I find him, I'm going to make him pay for what he'd done to my pa. <laughs> all right. Well, the cycle continues. I guess the lesson from this is violence is not the answer. We need some caffeine. Our guys are getting tired. Coffee! The magic elixir. Also, clothes. You guys are disgusting. And that's all the clothes we have. Too bad. All right. Well, onward and upward. How are you exhausted? I just gave you coffee. Oh, all right. It's time to slow down. Zero days. We should arrive today. I was going to say it would have been cool if we could have killed that guy. I would have shot that son and then we would have ended the cycle. THG needs a bath. Kneecap almost needs a bath. We've arrived at the Dells. Oh no, maybe not quite. Oh. Unpack it all. We're already too tired. I can't spare the stamina on... All right, so we're at the Dells. I'm going to use the wagon, the remaining wagon grease once we get past here. Is there like a place we can rest? This looks this looks nice. This looks like a town. Not a geographic form formation. Vast swaths of Oregon country appear ahead. The journey is nearly over. Hooray! Oh, I got the I got the collect meat objective because we killed we butchered our oxen. Okay. What's the uh, party look like? Health good? Stamina is what we need. And hygiene. Anybody have coffee? Nope. Got it. There's no store here. Anybody to talk to? Toll collector. I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road. A bargain at twice the price. Unless last until last year, the Overlander Trail had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Huh. Okay, that's the shorter route. You pay a toll. We're going to float the Columbia, though, just because that seems like the fun route to go. I don't know what I'm going to do about my damn hygiene, though. What am I going to do if I sell? What am I going to do with the money, though? That's the question. I could sell the fish, but I can't buy anything with it. I'm not worried about the toll road's cost. I can afford it. I just want to do it because it'll be fun. After months of travel, the group must resolve on a final approach to Oregon. Will they venture north and brave the Columbia River Rapids or south along the overland route via the Barlow Toll Road? The party weighs their options soberly. Columbia River! Rafting the Columbia River has long been the traditional means of reaching Oregon, and once the party has decided to risk, they press northward toward the river launch point. We got the money, but why not? Oh. Well. Maybe we should have taken the toll road. I've got dysentery. Just let's get better. 
magically uh, before you spread it to anyone. It's a shitty road. Appears to be. Sultan's no longer exhausted, though. Discard the flower that's bad. Two days. I should be better from dysentery in two days because I spent all that medicine. We're almost to the Columbia River. We can just shit over the edge of the over the edge of the raft and we'll be fine. Columbia River is a freaking beast of a river. When I was uh, out out west for work, we got to or I, like I had to drive around. I think it was back down to Portland, and I drove along the river the whole way, and it was it's pretty awesome drive, like scenic scenic wise. And I say that as someone who's crossed the Mississippi multiple times, and my wife's grandma's house was on the Mississippi, literally on the Mississippi, but it was up in St. Cloud, so it wasn't as wide. Not going to need that bait anymore. It was really cool, too. Her grandma's a author. It's very like Tom Sawyer, or not Tom Sawyer. Um, oh my God, I can't remember his name. Stupid author. All right. Heal me. Better. Clean me. Mark Twain, that's what I was thinking. Why am I still carrying this bat base? Oh, all right. He's recovered. Best of luck to you. So this is the the mini game I was thinking about. Well, we can't exactly turn around. Most folks don't come this way, but when you can't afford Barlow's toll roll. I love how that like that toll roll is like the epitome of capitalism right there. Like, well, you can choose to die or you can pay us your money. A and D, side to side. Let's go. This is it. All right, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Down the river we shall go. Oh, boy. We're going to weave through here like, oh, oh, that was close. Doom, 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 doom. Whoa, we are picking up speed. Oh, my God. Uh, whoa. Uh, I can't think. we make it no i guess it's not over yet ah! oh that was close we made it the party returns to the trail wet and exhausted but now our story is nearly complete Oregon City. 60 miles more. How's the, uh, can we just rush it? Stamina good, stamina good, stamina good, stamina good. We're going to do it. Grueling. Two days. Two days. 
We're in the final stretch. More rain. All right, wait it out. Maybe I'll get some, maybe a rest. Get more stamina, maybe? There you go. Sultan got some more stamina. All the time we saved by rushing, we lost back by... Nope. No. I'm not going to get cholera in the last, like, 20 miles. God, stupid. THG needs a bath again. Just push on. We beat winter by more than a month. 46 days. Oh. There we go. Uh, let's, I guess, repair the damage to the wagon. Well, I'm so glad we have a base that we can probably sell. That base might be worth something in Oregon City. I suppose there might be people who are making new ones there, but, you know. I picked it up, silly. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived on October 1st, 46 days before the snow. We made good time. It was a tremendous journey. There's something up ahead. A rainbow in the shadow of the mountain. Wait, hooray. Where's the city? It's just animals. After months of turmoil and privation, fearsome dangers and matchless wonders, the party has finally made it to the Willamette Valley. No one died. Wagon leader. Brave, the most difficult version of the trail in this ultimate test of knowledge, planning, and decision-making. You can... Yay! Television. What? We've made it to the valley, boys. The video game Hall of Fame. 32 days from Fort Boys at Oregon. 153 days total. An epic journey. Not a single casualty. Except for that, oh God, I'm still, I'm legitimately upset that the little girl didn't make it. God, it still bothers me. There's Mount Hood. Now we can go home. You made it to Oregon. The journey was long and challenging one, but your party came, can look forward to a new life in the Wilmette Valley. Poor ox. Well, that's true. We did suffer. The ox died and then we ate it. What does the grandfather clock do? We even took the longer journey, too. We took the southern detour. Two thousand two hundred and eleven miles, and everybody's so happy they're dancing. They're dancing. I'm probably dancing because my butthole's not on fire anymore. We gained thirty thousand experience. Total deaths zero. Died of dysentery zero times. 22% of the game completed, 40% fish collected, 94 animal percent animals collected, 23% of the achievements in one out of the 14 journeys. So just as a reminder, guys, this is 
uh, Oregon Trail, the newest version that's available on Steam or Switch or whatever. And as you can see here, we've completed the first journey, which is the long journey to Oregon. But there are 14 other journeys or 13 other journeys, which you can complete. So we spent, oh, over eight hours to get this far. And we kind of raced through at the end. Um, but uh, there's a lot more of this game to play. Could have given a better map. Maybe, yeah. It's not over yet. Try the next journey. Kaboom! Brave the hot desert and deliver as much ammunition as you can carry to Fort Hall before it overheats. Yeah, we're not going to do that tonight. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. A little bit abbreviated, a little bit shorter than uh, than the previous ones. But it was the conclusion of the journey. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy again. And please feel free to leave your thoughts below. Would you want to see more of this? Um, you know, it's not uh, it's not exactly your typical series that you see on this channel. But it is nominally historical certainly historical themed but if not no worries i understand uh, we'll also continue to kind of do our fair share of war gamey stuff and all the normal stuff that the channel does see but uh i think that's gonna do it for tonight so thanks again guys for coming out for the series until next time this is the historical gamer as always saying thank you very much for watching and until next time i'm out <laughs>